Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1150. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, this video is going to cover the same type of report based on two tables as we did in our last video. Back in 1149, we did VLOOKUP and SUM IFS to summarize costs based on a category. But the category comes from this table, right? And in the table with the actual cost, we used VLOOKUP to look up this. Over in this table, get the category, bring it back over here, and then summarize with some ifs. We also saw quite an efficient little array formula if you can't have this extra column. And then we looked at Power Pivot. How to use Power Pivot to go from these two tables and create this finished report. In this video, we want to see how to use Power Query. Now, Bill Sizzes from YouTube actually posted a comment below 1149 with a video about how to use Power Query. And here's all the steps. It's cool, the video he posted, I learned from him how to do this trick. So I'm going to show you. You can go look at his video. It's below 1149. It is silent, however. All right, here's the deal. Power Query. What is Power Query? It is an amazing way to either mash data up or get summary reports. It is just what it says. Power because it does all sorts of amazing things. Query because we're asking some question of raw data and then organizing it into some useful information. Now again, the idea is we need the cost from here and then summarize by the categories from here. Power Query is a download. You have to go to Google and search. You then add it in. In 2010, there's a different version. I'm using 2013. All right, so here, this is our first example of using Power Query. So I'm going to go up to Power Query. Notice I have a single cell selected. I'm going to click on Table. All right, and instantly we get this query editor window. There's our table. We're actually going to close and load to, and we're not going to load it to the actual uh, Excel workbook because it's already there. We want to only create a connection. We're going to create a connection in our query editor to these two tables, manipulate it there, and then export the actual finished report. All right, so we're going to load it. I'm going to click Load. It'll open this task pane over to the side, Workbook Query. So there's one. Now let's click in our second table. Power Query Table, close and load to, only create a connection and load. There's our two tables. Now we go back up to Power Query, and we want to merge them. We select our Cost Table. I'm going to click on the Product Type column, D Product. I'm going to click on the Product Type. Now the reason that we're clicking on these two is we want to create a relationship between these two columns for our query in our Merge dialog box. I'm going to click OK. We come to our drop down and we unselect all, and we want product category here. Remember, this is the cost table. And what we want is, in essence, exactly like our VLOOKUP helper column in our last video. I click OK and check that out. Now, for our report, we don't need this column, so I'm going to right click Remove. I'm going to double click this and rename it. Product category, Enter. I can click and drag. Check that out. Now I come over to Group By. Group By, that seems like uh, terms from access queries where we're really summarizing by some condition or criteria. We're going to group by products category. We're going to add a new column called, I'm just going to call it Total Cost. Check this out. Here's a drop down with uh, some calculations that are available to us. I'm going to choose the sum and then the column cost. Now when I click OK, Boom, instantly we have the output that we desire. I'm going to go to Close and Load 2. And now I'm going to dump this back in as a table into our existing worksheet. I'm going to click the Collapse button, put it in G1, and click OK. Click Load. And check that out. There is what looks exactly like we created from our pivot table using Power Pivot or our summary using our various formulas. Now the cool thing is, is, is we can add new records. Now, just like our pivot table and Power Pivot, this Power Query report, when we change the data, we're going to have to refresh it. Remember, our formulas back in 
149. Those automatically updated when the data changed. So I'm going to go to the bottom of the table, click in the last cell, hit Tab, Sunset, and this is going to be $12.25. As soon as I hit Enter, it doesn't update, but I can come over and right click Refresh. And there's our updated numbers. Now, you know, I actually committed a cardinal sin here. Merge 1 is not a good name. So check this out. I'm going to hover over. Whoa, I can edit this. Get back to our Edit Query window, and I'm going to come over here and name this. Add Cost by Categories and Enter. So that is a name we can recognize. And check this out. These are all of the steps that we went through when we created our query. A question of our original two Excel tables and our summary report. I'm going to go ahead and close. Keep. I definitely want to keep. If we want to get back to these queries later after closing, simply come up to Power Query, Workbook Queries, and boom, inside this workbook we have three queries, Cost Table and D Products Table to get loaded, and then we have our external report. All right, that's our first look at Power Query. Totally awesome. And thanks to our amazing online Excel team and Bill. We'll see you next video.